Hello and welcome to another edition of Conspirator Rocks Pullist. This is my pullist for the week of September 3rd, or yep, September 30th, 2015. So let's get right into it. It's a tiny, tiny week this week. Um, since it's a five-week month, uh, there's annuals this week from DC, and uh, not a lot has shipped. Not a lot shipped from Marvel, and yeah, it's just kind of weird. So, um, but it's a tiny, tiny week, which will probably prepare you for. Next week, which is going to be huge and ginormous and ridiculous, um, if you listen to the Comic Conspiracy podcast episode 229, which we just recorded tonight and put up, uh, you'll know that East Coast retailers got a, a message from Diamond saying that their shipments might not be uh, there on Tuesdays. Um, some of it might actually end up being there on Wednesdays because there's just so much of it. So if you're on the East Coast... Uh, next week, be aware of that there's a lot of stuff coming out next week, and some stuff might not get to this, your shop until Wednesday. But let's get into the pull list. Uh, first up, we have American Vampire Second Cycle, number 10. <clears throat> uh, Scott Snyder's just an amazing, amazing uh, writer, and uh, American Vampire just showcases this. Um, I'm all caught up. It's really, really good. Really enjoying it. Um, can't wait to actually uh, reread American Vampire in its entirety. Uh, in trade format, I do have the hardcovers of the first series, and I need to make sure I get the hardcovers of this one. But American Vampire Second Cycle, if, you're, if you haven't checked it out, try American Vampire. Start at the beginning, and then catch up. Next up, we have Aquaman number 44. Uh, caught up with Aquaman, so I've been enjoying where it's going. Going Bun has been doing a good job with it. Art's pretty cool. So, um, yeah, this is just another cover that uh, is just, hey, I'm making out with you, but I'm going to stab you in the back with a knife. Seen it a couple times before, but hey, if you can't beat him, join him. Uh, next up, we have the Batman Annual number four. Um, yeah, I'm curious to see uh, what is in store for the Batman Annual. I got caught up with Batman uh, recently, and I've been still enjoying it. So I'm looking forward to seeing kind of a separate, you know, tangent story from Batman, but then coming back to Snyder stuff next month. So. We'll see where that one goes. Next up, we have Book of Death, The Fall of Harbinger, number one. Um, one shot, so to speak. I haven't actually read the uh, Book of Death books yet. I've kind of just stockpiled them. Um, I'm going to catch up soon. Number four should be out. So, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes once I get all of them together. Uh, next up, big, big title, Justice League number 44. Uh, really great stuff from Johns. I highly recommend you be, you should be reading Justice League if you haven't. Um, good luck finding a couple of those early chapters of the Dark Side War, um, but uh, if not, you can always get it digitally. But yeah, Dark Side War has been really, really good, and I highly, highly recommend it. Next up, a book that actually I didn't think was going to finish before Secret Wars, but actually beat out Secret Wars. It's Sandman Overture number 6, the final issue for the prelude to the Sandman, Neo Game and Sandman series. Uh, really, really great stuff. I can't wait to see how it kind of wraps up. Um, the art is awesome from J.H. Williams. And yeah, just really, really excited to see uh, the end to this and then um, read it in its entirety when I can get a nice hardcover. So I don't know how that's going to affect the absolutes, but we'll see. Um, it came with a second cover, for those of you curious, the Dave, uh, Dave McKinnon covers. Uh, really great stuff. So yeah. Uh, next up is Sex, number 24. Um, just looks like an article from a newspaper or a magazine for the cover. Yeah, that's cool. I've actually caught up with Sex. It's pretty good. Um, overall, it's not like the best. It doesn't scream at me like, oh my god, i got to read it. But it's interesting enough that I'm continuing with it. So we'll see where it goes. Next up is New Suicide Squad Annual number 1. Um, I'm not caught up with the Suicide Squad uh, yet. As you know, for a couple months, so hopefully I'll be able to get to that soon. Um, but from what I've heard from people, it's not as good as the stuff prior, and but it's not horrible. So we'll see. Uh, Green Lantern variant month with this variant month was this month, and so there was a couple variants this month. Uh, the one I decided to pick up was for Justice League 44. It's the Ivan Rice variant cover um, for the Green Lantern stuff. So I thought that one was cool. The other ones. I, I liked the Francis Manipul one for Aquaman, but I didn't pick it up. I may grab it in um, later time if we still have a copy. Um, and the other one was for Superman, which was I didn't like at all. Uh, there was a couple graphic novels I picked up this week. One was actually uh, came out a few weeks ago, but we got shorted all of our copies, which is Batman Volume 7 Endgame. 
Uh, I actually picked up Joker Endgame last week and uh, was was a little weirded out that when I went to check Amazon, uh, this showed up and it was said it was already released. And I was like, but I didn't get it. Well, I didn't get it because we were shorted all of our copies. But um, Scott Snyder's Batman, Volume 7, Endgame. If you haven't been reading Batman, I, I don't. I, you should. It's, it's amazing. Uh, the next up is a book that came is coming out in hardcover, so this is probably how I'm going to collect it because it's pretty cool. And that's Jason Aaron and Jason Latour's Southern Bastards. Uh, the hardcover, bam, uh, for Volume 1 came out today. Uh, really, really enjoy this series. I'm really glad they came out with a heart, nice hardcover edition for it. Uh, so I'm looking forward to getting issue, you know, Book 2 once Issue 16 comes out. So this collects the first eight issues. Um, yeah. It's really, really nice, solid hardcover. I highly recommend it. So that was it for my pull list and uh, stuff I bought, took home. No specialty items this week um, from uh, me ordering out of previews, so no t-shirts or any of that stuff. Uh, but who knows, maybe it's coming in the huge shipment that's next week. Uh, so now on to the read list. So first up on the read list is Archie number 3 uh, by Mark Wade with art by Fiona Staples. Really enjoyed the first two issues, so I'm curious to see uh, how issue 3 goes. Um, but yeah, really solid stuff. Uh, the relaunch of Archie has been really good. Um, so I'm, I'm going to continue with it for as long as it's enjoyable. So Next up is a number 2 that I never thought I'd see, which is Captain America White number 2 uh, by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale. The first issue was okay. I'm curious to see where... Issue 2 goes, it's not horrible Jeff Loeb writing, so it's it's not bad. Uh, next up is a new number 1 from Image from Under Mountains, number 1. Um, curious, check it out, see if it's any good. If not, you won't see it again. Uh, next up is Grayson Annual, number 2. Uh, seems like Grayson teams has been teaming up with a lot of people lately, and now he's teaming up with Superman. So, we'll see where it goes. Grayson's been okay. Uh, the, the, the overall story... Is kind of there, but it, it hasn't really grabbed my attention uh, like I thought it would. But uh, it is enjoyable, so I keep reading it. Next up, we have Green Lantern Annual Number Four. Um, apparently, there's tales of Hal Jordan in here, so I'm curious to see what this entails. Hopefully, it's some interesting stuff that moves the story forward. If not, it's just a waste of a book. Uh, next up, we have Superman Number Forty Four. Um, Kind of staying with the Superman titles, just seeing where they're going. Uh, they've been okay since his, you know, he got his new power and all that stuff. But I'm, I'm, I'm not particularly fond of the Superman titles. Uh, it's sad because it's, you know, Superman. It's a huge name, but uh, yeah, it's not that great. So that's it for this week. There's nothing that I that uh, came out that we didn't have enough copies of. I got everything I wanted to read, so that was an oddity this week. Um, so yeah, so I just need to get caught up with some more of my books. Hopefully I'll be able to get that knocked out soon. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Please remember, like, share, subscribe, uh, leave comments down below. I love it when you guys leave comments. I can read them. Hopefully if I get a chance, I'll respond and stuff like that, but uh, I do appreciate it. Uh, I did uh, do a Loot Crate unboxing video for Loot Crate for September. Uh, I recorded it with my son. But uh, after opening it and having the video ready and I was going to go sit down and, and get all the information and put it all up, I uh, found out that something was missing from that Loot Crate. So I need to re-record that unboxing video um, for you guys. So hopefully I'll be able to do that this week and uh, so you can see everything that was in it. Um, but I'll also post the one where I opened it with my son and hopefully uh, next month for for. We're later this month, in, or next month, I guess it's still September. Uh, for October's Loot Crate, I'm hoping to open up with Brody and keep going with those. So, yeah. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. My handle's at Brock Sager. You can listen to me on the Comic Conspiracy Podcast, which we record every Tuesday night. Episode 229 is up, so you can go check that out at www.geekbox.net, or you can download it from iTunes. Just search the com or Comic Conspiracy. Uh, you can help support myself and my fellow hosts on the Comic Conspiracy podcast through Patreon, and that's patreon.com slash comic conspiracy. Uh, for as little as a dollar, you can, you know, help us with hosting and getting pizza and all that wonderful stuff. Uh, we did put, record a second Bryce Briefly episode, so for you Patreon subscribers, that should be up tonight. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the first one and you're looking forward to a second one. Uh, we're still working on getting the Man of Steel... Oh, 
uh, commentary track thing going. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll see if that that gets off the ground at all. Um, but yeah, other than that, not much else going on. I did donate blood today. Um, I haven't been getting a tattoo for a few years now, and you can't get give blood if you've been tattooed within a year. So um, I've actually haven't gotten a tattoo in like three or four years, uh, which I really need to get to doing. But uh, I was able to get blood. I did the platelets, so it was great. It's a good feeling. Um, can't donate again until January, but if anyone is able to, I always always recommend you donate blood it helps tons and tons of people and it's just a way to give back um and surprisingly enough i got a free burrito from chipotle from giving blood today not that i needed it not that i wanted it but cool i got it so uh yep uh, again thank you for watching and i will see you next week